Yeah, it was, it was good. You know, uh, I'm all the snow, but I don't want to get out of it. But uh, as you know, as a team perspective, I thought it was brilliant and just to get behind the boys and you know keep uh, keep on moving forward. And uh, then really well, brilliant. A little bit frustrating. Yeah, it was frustrating, but other than that, everything else was uh, you know support them all the way. It's almost an ideal match to come back to. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's a big, it's a huge game you know, for us. Um, you know, we've done well in the last few years, you know, and uh, just keep working hard now. You know, try and go to Liberty and upset them a bit. Is there like, almost a hangover from New Zealand? Do you feel that as a player like coming back, or do you feel as if it's you know, the rest of the way? Uh, no, I'm really you know just. Go back, you obviously got different calls and things, and you pick them up as quick as you can. But it was fine, you know. You know, we got them that last week and they did this week. Four games on the, on the trot as well, Scarlett's have won, she's pretty decent form as well. Yeah, you know, the boys have the, been there before us, you know, they performed up, you know, brilliant and it's good to watch, so just go to try and uh, keep the standards high and play uh, well on the weekend. As a former Osprey, there's a bit of spice to this game. Uh, yeah, it's always, uh, it's, always, it's always the case. You know, be, uh, as a kid, as well, we always go down and watch the Scarlets and, mm-hmm. and, uh, and uh, the Ospreys on the boxing day, and it's, it's been brilliant. It's a great tradition, and uh, it's what you've always wanted to be part of. Mm-hmm. And you saw the Scarlets and that going for a while in this fixture. It'd be great to, uh, to get one minute before, before you work. Yeah, so, you know, obviously, trying to build momentum as well. but. Uh, uh, that's always in the back of your head. Are you looking uh, to make a statement in terms of <coughs> an international coming up in December? Is that something you know you're aiming for at this stage? Now? Uh, to be honest, it's, it's not. It's, it's, it's a long, long way away. Yeah. I'm not thinking about it. To be honest, I just 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 take every day as it comes. You know, uh, just train in, make sure I do everything right, and you know on the weekend try and be as accurate as I can. But it, you know, whatever comes, comes, and but just take every day as it is. Yeah. What's the key things you got to be, you got to do in games like this that you know tend to swing on little things? Well, uh, you know, just you know, enjoy it. I think more than anything, uh, you know, try try and play what you see in front of you, and um, just you know, be accurate, get in pass and just, just do as best as you can. You know, sure to, uh, to do. Obviously, you've got the potential full international back division. That's something you're hoping to get you know, get together as soon as possible. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great to see the boys uh, uh, over the over the World Cup. You know, you know, representing Wales and the Scarlets, and you know, it was just good to see what the uh, Scarlets have developed. You know, uh, over the last couple of years, and uh, you know, obviously, it's paid off. So, yeah, obviously, I can see I'm having a big part to play in it, and. Uh, See how it goes. Two very good playoff options outside you as well, Tavis. So. Yeah, I think they're great. You know, the pair of them look after. Me, I look after the look after me and the rest, well, the rest of the team to be honest. Um, you know, I was very fortunate last year and having Di and obviously this year having Ben there as well as working in between. You know, it's, it's great it's link to work in between. So yeah. And a few young scrummers kicking at your heels as well, Tavis. So yeah, it's yeah, nice. he's, uh, you know. He's, there's um as well one is injured the other, the other two have been playing well as well so you know I you know ne- never resting I'm always uh, trying to keep up to date and work hard so that's all you can do. Yeah. Well, you were single experience you captain the side the weekend. What I mean, what's it like now? Then obviously Matthew coming back as well. I mean, did you enjoy that role? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, you know, I was captain, but Matthew was still involved, and you know, he, he was obviously has a lot of input even when he's not. Uh, Captain of the, um, but he's you know there's, there's a lot of boys around that uh, chip in. We're all happy to. So we'll talk about the World Cup boys coming back. But how much uh, uh, influence will Matthew East coming back uh, on Scarlet? Yeah, massive, massive impact. He's brought a massive amount of energy back. Um, you know, he's into everything in training. And he just he just wants to play. Um, I think we saw saw a glimpse of him. When he came on, he changed the scrum for us, and he's really, he's really keen to get back up. What's, what's the key to go to a place like Liberty Stadium and try to give away with a win? Um, it's, it's a tough place. Um, but, 
I think these, these derby games are always like the cup finals. Um, I think if you turn up on the day with, with a, an attitude to front up and then play some rugby when, when, when it's required, I think you can uh, go there for the taking. After I learned the defeats, do you feel you turned the corner as a squad? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, a lot, of, a lot of confidence in the moment. The boys, young guys have you know come in the LV and just you know they've just a mix of youth we've had. They've really uh, given us a, a new injection and uh, you know, we carried it on in the Pro 12 this week. Um, so we you know we're on our way at the moment. And back in contention, you think for us, what a great spot at the end of the season? Definitely, yeah. Um, obviously, with those those running games we. That we lost to the thinking we were, uh, you know, it makes the rest of the year yeah. hard work really. But, you know, as Nigel alluded to, if we'd have, as we won on uh, Saturday, we were better off now than we were in the same, same time last year. So, and we're definitely on track. I mean, I'll stick here back with six of their World Cup players last Saturday and, and struggling to, to, uh, to get their game going. Is that a danger perhaps that you think, perhaps, all right, the World Cup boys are back now, everything's going to be fine? Is um, um, perhaps expect too much of them too early? It could be, yeah. Um, you know, they're being mentally fatigued as well as physically. They've kind of they've had a big, big workload out there over the last few months. So just as long as you don't ask too much of them too soon, and um, maybe drip feed them in. We've had a couple in last week and they went well against Ulster. So a couple more this week. And then and on a personal note, I've seen you stout on the selection there for the tournament. Does that motivate you for this season? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm sure the same Justin. I sort of uh, a couple of the Australian boys that, that went and, and didn't go. Uh, JT is another one, so I think we have all got points to prove. Um, and we're not giving up on it yet. So. Yeah. As the World Cup shows that back row pool, there's, there's a lot of competition there. Then. Definitely, yeah, the boys are really well there. Yeah. Um, a lot of competitions for everybody else, so it's great to be a part of and uh, mentioned in the same, you know, in the same pool. So.